It's a new week, so you know what time it is. Time for a new food history lesson. Okay, maybe this isn't actually a weekly occurrence around here, but let's be honest, we all have a soft spot for learning where our favorite foods come from, right? And what is a more fascinating food than the illustrious pizza? Food of choice for college students, birthday parties, and workplaces who need a morale boost. Because pizza parties work for that, right? But where did the pizza truly come from? And what did the original pizzas look like and consist of? Today, we're gonna carve up those answers and more. Three Minute Flicks, entertaining, educating, and enlightening. The furthest recipe resembling pizza traces back to 1700s Naples. This society was known for its brutal economical hierarchy and living conditions. Many of the workers in this society needed something inexpensive and quickly consumable to match their work-heavy lifestyle. For this purpose, flatbreads topped with garnishes such as tomatoes, cheese, oil, fish, or garlic made for a nutritional and convenient meal. Once Italy unified in 1861, the king and queen came to visit the city of Naples towards the end of the century. The royalty had become tired of their standard cuisine and were fascinated by these pizzas that the people of Naples were so fond of. The king and queen ended up being absolutely enthralled by pizza, which you think would kickstart the pizza craze across the world, but the royalty would kind of keep this one as their own treats and leave the rest of Italy in the dark on its existence. In fact, the growth of pizza wouldn't begin until the early 1900s when immigrants from Naples would begin arriving in New York and other cities along the American eastern coastline. The Neapolitans were coming for factory work, but the people of America were much more interested in their cuisine. One of the first documented pizzerias in the United States was Lombardi's in Manhattan, taking the pizza out of the home oven and into a real public restaurant. As Italians immigrated more and more into the country, the craze of Italian food along the East Coast would explode exponentially, naturally bringing the love for pizza with it. Eventually, it would just become so common that it was never even seen as a foreign treat anymore, and instead just a commonplace American food. As the pizza took over America, regional developments would evolve all over the country, adding different toppings like barbecued meats, salmon, and many different kinds of sauces and cheese. Now these days, pizza has taken the rest of the entire world by storm, but it still hardly holds a candle to the United States' fondness for the tomatoey pie. An average of 3 billion pizzas are sold every year in the United States, coming out to an average of 46 slices per person per year. And well, when you put it that way, maybe we are a little pizza crazy. Three Minute Flix. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We create new videos weekly.